Hello everyone. So uh, every Monday is when I'm going to be uploading my uh, serious games. And uh, well, let's get started. Okay, looks like I am white. And we're playing a uh, cross opening. Mm. Since he played this one, I think I'll just take the corner. Okay, he could have played here, but instead he approached first. That seems okay. I'll just go ahead and take my corner again. So he has both sides he's trying to develop, but he's behind a move on each one. So if he takes one, I should probably get the other one. But even if he gets both, the game's still even. So I guess that means I shouldn't rush it. So I could play over here to try and reduce this area. Um, I could also just play over here to take this base. I could 3-3. Three, three, and I can approach. Kind of like the approach. Even if he plays over here, I can still invade, and the corner is still open. And if he plays over here, again, I can do this, or take this side. So it feels okay. So it seems like he's going to have some influence here, and I'll have the territory. So then I guess it just becomes how much can I uh, reduce. Then even though this is low value, I should probably get something here. So if he plays here, again, that's just too slow. I need to come over here and uh, reduce. And this seems okay. So if he pushes here and I jump, he has to somehow connect to these stones or else I get to cut him off. If he tries to fight back, I can just push down here and then he still has some weaknesses here. So, should hopefully be okay. So he does that one. So again, I just push. It feels like he needs to connect somehow. And if he wedges here, I Atari, he connects, I play lightly, he connects under, and then I can Tanuki over to this side. Okay, so he does this one. Uh, this feels a bit weird. Um, if I do something like this, he goes down, I go here, he can peep, it looks like I get a bit heavy. By Hane here. Feels like this works. Um, I suppose he could push here, I connect, he can push through, but then I just Atari sacrifice this stone and I get to attack this. If I play the outside Hane, he can just go down. I have to connect, he connects under, and then I'm kind of just floating here. So this one feels the best. I suppose he could cross cut here, but yeah, it's fine. So I'll just connect here. Maybe I should have Atari first. But if he just defends here, I just jump out and he's weak. I suppose he could go this way. So yeah, that's probably why I should have Atari first. Um, okay, so this one I think works out for me if you went this one. There's some more Aji this way, but then my group gets a little bit heavier. 
Um, but since he did this way, jumping out seems okay. He can try and like wedge here, but it seems okay. Hmm. So I kind of want to defend my group here. Um, but if he gets to play over here, he's building a lot. So I think I need to be uh, patient and just defend here. Because if I defend here and he goes here, this area is growing a lot more. So if he just jumps out again, not sure what would be the best way to defend here. Because if he wedges here, 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 if I have a move here, and he tries to cut, I can just go here, he extends, I can block. Hmm. I'm a little too weak to push and fight here. So I think I'll push once. So if he pushes through here and cuts, he can cut this off. Uh, but can I push here instead? Looks like I can. I can push here. And if he blocks here, this doesn't work anymore. So I should have Sente. I think I'll Hane here first, because he's not quite alive. And this will help reduce the left side. But I really should probably come back and defend this uh, at some point. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> I guess after this he can still cut, but that's fine. Because after he goes here, I cut. He goes here, he captures, but this should be fine. So he comes back to uh, attack this, finally. Which this feels like weird place. Because uh, the wedge here feels a bit harder, or even if he plays here, threatening to play here and cut on both sides. But I guess he's trying to uh, develop this side. So as I live here, he's going to develop points in the center to where he can come back over here. Really don't want to let him do that, but I don't think I have uh, too much of an option. So this group should be fine, even though I probably lose these stones. So I'll see if he'll let me just live here, so I don't have to add moves up here. And then, yeah, I can push here. Just threatening the cut, or I can play here. And if he plays like this to connect under, um, then I can Atari and try to make an eye here. And even though he destroyed my corner, I was going to lose these two stones anyway. Um, so if he jumps in here and I defend, then I'm fixing this. And if he cuts here and I go here and capture, um, then this is fixing the corner anyway. And I can play here and Sente. And when I capture this, even though it's not really a Panuki because it has this move here, I feel pretty strong here. 
Uh, so now I guess he's going to try and kill me, but I think I'm just alive here. But I did lose a lot of points, and this is still weak, and he has potential over here. So I think I probably messed up here. I probably should have jumped out and defended this sooner. Okay, but a little confusing, because, yeah, he's just... Getting rid of co-threats here. And now he's going to fight. But this is still not 100% alive. So if I push through here, this makes it easier to cut. So at the very least, I should be able to use these forcing moves to get out. And if he does uh, capture this, I don't think it'll be too bad. If I were to go here first and he bamboos, don't really have a good force to move after that, so I need to come out. Um, but if he pushes me here to try and surround me, then I can come here and push. And I think I should be able to get another eye here. So again, if I push here, he just makes the bamboo. And if he goes here, I can Hane. If he cuts, Atari and capture. Okay, so he's going to force me to run out. Just keep going. This group feels like it should be okay. And if I get to run into this area, he's losing points. So I just need to uh, make sure I live. And then he still hasn't played here to capture this, so later if he doesn't, uh, this will be quite big. So now he's going to attack this one. Hmm. Okay, just going to run out. So yeah, this was a pretty big mistake. Missing that was uh, pretty easy. Well, easy to not miss that, so I'm not sure how I missed it. Okay, so he's trying to develop this again. So I'll attach here to try and capture this stone. Mm. Okay, but now if he goes here, I push, then he has to go here. So again, I'm running into his area where he was trying to make points, but he's getting some points here, and his corner's becoming more solid. So it's probably not good for me, but it felt like if he just surrounded me and forced me to live, which there was no guarantee that I could live there, 
um, then he could have built this more naturally. Okay, I'll Hane here. Because if he cuts, I can go here. Not sure what I want to do here. I guess I'll just connect. Go here. here I only need one more eye because so I should already have this one so I'm curious if I can go here and if he blocks go here which he has this in Sente. so I'm not sure if I can get uh, two eyes there so again here he's pushing me into his own area But it is helping him uh, solidify this. So I really don't think, yeah, he'll uh, go there. So I just go here. I'm alive. So now he's probably going to come back and try and attack this group. There's still some Aji here. And this is not 100% alive. Okay, so he comes back to defend this. This is open uh, here and here, so I don't have to worry about him blocking to do anything there. So I think I'm just going to uh, push here and then jump into here to try and make more eyes. And at the same time, I'm reducing his area. That's interesting. This seems very big. So I only have about 40 plus Comey, so I'm probably behind. So he has about 48, plus a little extra potential, but he still, I can reduce this. So the game might still be somewhat close, although he did just defend that, which is pretty big. Uh, this should be pretty alive now. So now it's just uh, in game. So I think I'll play here to get a few more points. This is probably the last place where I can make some. So I was counting, I was probably behind by five to 10. Let me see if Squares Mater agrees. It's saying more, but I don't think it was that much of a difference. So I will push here once. because there's some Aji here. Then I can push through here, threatening to reduce this or cut here. Oh, he let me cut. 
So now I have some potential to make some more points. And I have this attach here, which would threaten to reduce, but he can probably defend with something like this. So it'd be a trade. Yeah, not sure which would be bigger, but. Okay, and I don't want to let him connect too easily, so I'm going to play here. But if he was ahead, it feels like he should have just connected somehow here instead of blocking here. And that feels like that would have been a little bit simpler for him. Uh, so if I Tanuki and try to play something like this and he attaches, he can capture this. Um, hmm. So I think I need to defend that. Not sure if this is the best way. Uh, but I can peep here. And if I go here, he goes here. I connect. He can push through capture three stones, but I'd be able to reduce this a lot more. Um, I can also attach here. If he goes here, here, it ends up the same where he captures these. So I think I can just sacrifice the three stones, and if I get to reduce this area, it should be good enough. And if he blocks here, and I go here to cut it, and then he, uh, or if he pushes, I connect, and then he goes here, I could always play here. Okay, so he does that one, but now I can push here, threatening to connect, or Hane. Okay, so he goes here. Um, so I could go with this one, where he goes here, I connect, he captures, I connect. But then he goes here. And so then I'm not alive and I'm in some danger. Um, okay. So I'm not sure I have a really good way to uh, defend this. So I might just Tanuki to go here. And then here. But then when he goes here, I have to connect. So kind of hard to decide. Hmm, maybe here. So if he captures these, then I just Hane here, so he defends that. Um, but now I can go here, and there's still this cut. So I got to reduce a little bit. Uh, when he defends here, I'm not sure if there's... There should be some Ajay here. Um, like pushing through here, or attaching. He goes here, I push. I should be able to get a little bit extra. And if he doesn't defend that, then of course I can just push through. He goes there. That's a little confusing. Because now I think I can push through and capture. And if he Ataris, I connect. And this is not 100% alive. And if I get a move here, then pushing through here is quite big. Um, okay, so I guess he's going to try and live here. Because um, this cut, I can just ladder. Okay, and he just resigns. Okay, so uh, I'll go ahead and do a, uh, a short review. Okay, so according to the graph, it was a pretty uh, interesting game. 
So we were pretty much even uh, until this point. Then after this uh, mistake I made here, it's saying uh, black is ahead by about uh, nine points or so. And then the rest of the game, it's around five to 10 points difference. And towards the end here, um, it's saying that black's ahead by about four to five. And then of course, after he uh, dies here, then I'm just ahead by about, uh, shows about 18 points. So that probably means this can live. So I think it'd be more than 18 or um, if it dies, um, but I get to reduce this a lot. And so let's check from the beginning. Then he played the cross opening. And the opening, you can pretty much just play anything. He played here, uh, but it does seem like it values uh, this side a little bit more, but not much difference. Doesn't really like my move, um, but it only shows it goes down by like 0 0.2. So again, we can play anything. Um, it wants me to jump out here, which I'm curious because nor normally playing this uh, press down is not good. But it doesn't want me to do that, it wants me to just uh, fight here. Uh, which this makes sense. Uh, corner's still open. If this is weak, this is weak. So it'd be a running fight. And as we're running, it probably makes it more difficult to build this up. So that makes sense. Uh, didn't really consider that one. I just try to keep it more simple by invading. And then, yeah, I was right. He should have just uh, played here because this feels like the bigger side. Uh, when he plays this one, this is low value. So, of course, I'm not going to defend it. Um, but I guess I should have took my own advice. If this is the bigger side, then I should have played there too. Uh, but again, the point difference is not that much. Okay, he goes here. This move was uh, his first big mistake. Uh, it looks like I played it okay. I played the Hane. Um, anything else that didn't seem like it worked too well. Um, but yeah, I was assuming he'd play on top here. And Okay, I guess my move's okay. I was thinking I should have played this one first. So that when he pushes through here, it's a little bit better. But I guess, yeah, he could just cut here and then the stone is kind of wasted. And I have to run out anyway. Does that make sense? Um, and I was thinking this one was way better. But it seems like both are okay for me. Okay, and then I just run out. So that was good. Yeah, he didn't play this wedge. I, I definitely thought this was the best move. Because, like, yeah, if I go here, connect, he cuts. Even if I get out here, it's like he's building all this, which is helping build this. I still have to come back here and live. Um, so my shape here wasn't that good. Um, but he played this attach here, and I played correctly. So it's a bit confusing, because that means I followed what the bot wanted and my shape still wasn't good, um, but that could just be the shoulder hit was wrong, and I should have just played over here. Then he jumped out here. And okay, so this was a little bit slow. I should have just defended my weak group. Um, so yeah, if I play something like this, I was a bit worried about this one, because then he's growing this area and this area. And if I spend a move to reduce one side or the other, he'd be developing the other side. But I suppose because if I get strong here, it makes it easy to reduce this. And this group is uh, still not 100% alive. So maybe if I reduce over here, he would have to focus on living and then wouldn't be able to develop this as easily. Um, but it does say I'm winning by about five points here. But instead, I played this one which it only shows that it's like a one point mistake, um, but he does get to attack this group. Uh, but even pushing, it doesn't like. So that's another one point mistake. He peeped here and yeah, I should just connect. I was trying to get Sente, but I uh, just misread. Because after he blocks here, I still have to respond. So this move is uh, just wasted if I play here and then I have to come back and connect anyway. Um, 
Okay, didn't consider that one. Yeah, I could have played this one instead. So this move was, yeah, a 41% mistake. So yeah, that was uh, the first big one for me. And then he comes and attacks right away. And I should just play here, but that's a little bit scary because this group is under attack. And yeah, he should just come over here and cut. It's very big. And so this was my last uh, chance to keep it even. If I play here, I'm slightly ahead. Uh, but said I try to uh, live here. And this is another 40 uh, point mistake. So at this point, I think is one of the highest uh, that he's ahead, which is about 10 points. And yeah, capturing here, I was capturing this one because I was thinking it would help with uh, the fight over here, which I'm not really sure if I remember if it did or not. But yeah, just making a base here probably would have been better because I have more uh, ice space. And then I can also aim at uh, bothering his corner next. I just have to be pretty confident I can live here, which I'm not very confident with that. Um, but this is kind of uh, thin. And he has some weaknesses. And it's only saying this is like a 1% mistake. And I was a little bit confused that he played all this now, but... Okay, so he wanted this one. But this looks a little bit scary. But I'm guessing because I can push through here and he's not alive. So maybe this is just a, uh, a better way of punishing his uh, weakness here. And then when I go here, I can just capture it in a net. And then this is not 100% alive, so he probably has to defend. But this is only one eye, maybe two if I play here first. But uh, seems cleaner than the game. Like this is still thin, so if I can live without making him stronger, it makes it easier to reduce the left side. Uh, but I played here. So, yeah, so the difference between this one and this one, it shows about seven points. Um, so uh, if I played this one, it's a seven point game. Playing my move, it's a 15 point game. Okay, and it wants me to go here. But it seems like any of them are about the same. Yeah, turning here is very big, but again, I'm just not confident at all that I could live there. And it's starting to look at my move. So I guess my move is not too bad. But yeah, saying black by about 16. So I definitely feel like if he just lets me live and takes this side, even if I invade, I'm probably behind. But he kept making the mistake of uh, letting me into his area because he wanted to try and kill. Um, so yeah, it didn't like this one, because yeah, it does seem like if he just goes here and extends, I have to connect, he pushes, I connect, and yeah, maybe he doesn't like that, because maybe this is not alive, but yeah, this is Sente, this is Sente, so it feels like he should be able to live, um, it's showing this one. And then Tanuki, I guess, yeah. And so if I go here, he just lives. Um, he, I can capture these, but it's very small. He gets to develop this side. And with this being this strong, it seems very difficult to invade that. And it's saying black's ahead by about 13. Uh, but here he just lets me into his area, which is letting me reduce this. And then, yeah, he gets to attack this now. So I feel like I definitely should have lost this game. Um, but he didn't really attack as effectively as he should have. So like at this point, yeah, it says he's ahead by about 10. But it feels like he should just kind of let me live here. And there's still Aji with this move. And then he just comes and defends here. 
Yeah, it feels like he should be ahead. But instead, he uh, lets me into his biggest area. I was looking at this Hane. I wasn't sure if it worked. It seemed like after this one, I didn't have this attach. Um, so it seemed harder to get eye shape. Uh, but it seems like uh, AI thinks it also works. But this one, it just seems simpler. And also this direction seemed wrong. Yeah, because again, this is his biggest area. Defending here does nothing. Um, he's already alive here. And it's also a bit difficult to make eye space. Like, I would have to play here, maybe Atari. Then, yeah, I have to get out somehow. Which, when I run out this way, it probably makes this group weaker. Uh, but pushing me into his own area like that made it easier to get eyes. And then I think I was also able to live here in Sente, almost. Well, no, not Sente. But with uh, I was expecting him to play here, and then I still had this attach or something Aji later. Um, but because he connects here, this is also very thin. So I think that's why it recommends the uh, the block here. Um, because it's helping defend that thinness. Um, but he went there, I went here. I was very confused that he didn't block here. Um, I guess he's now defending his biggest area, finally. But letting me play here just seemed too big, or too nice. Um, but it still says I'm behind by about 13, so maybe it was it was good. He blocked here, which again seems wrong direction. Uh, this definitely seemed biggest, uh, which he does get there. So maybe I think Bot was showing this push here, and this is probably to make sure I get Sente or try and get Sente. Uh, but you can see here there's still some a lot of Aji here. Okay, so I tried to make some more points here. Didn't really like that one. Then he tries to defend this area, which is not that big. But yeah, so at this point, since he defended the small area, um, says I'm about seven points behind at this point. Hmm. But yeah, but if you look at the game, it definitely feels like I should have for sure lost. Because all this group did was live. He gave me some points here, um, but he for sure should have made more points here and here while attacking. And then he had two groups to attack. And this ends up living with two eyes, and he made this corner. And he also has some moves here to, uh, building this side. So if he attacked properly, I think I should have lost uh, pretty easily. But he uh, didn't seem like he was that good at attacking, because he kept letting me, well... I guess he was trying to kill instead of profit, is what his mistake was. Although this move, I think, was just a mistake, because it doesn't really try to kill because he just blocks here anyway. Um, but if he blocked here first and not Hane, then I would have a harder time making eyes. But at the same time, like it seems very easy to see that, because <laughs> this group is very strong, he has lots of points. And playing this Hane, it feels like it should be obvious that it's helping me. Okay, he blocked here. And yeah, this was just too small. <laughs> pretty much if he prepares first, I'm pretty sure I have to respond here somewhere. And then he can just, uh, yeah, play here. And he's pretty much winning if he just makes this solid. And if I play another move here, it's just, it's too slow. Um, so he's probably going to get another chance eventually to reduce this uh, with a jump, or if he wants to like shoulder hit or something. So whoever plays there, white's only getting about 10 points, maybe. Uh, but when he does this one, it gives me the chance to attack and try and get some more profit. And I wasn't expecting to kill this, but I was hoping to get some extra moves here to reduce this, because this is very thin. 
Um, and it kind of worked out. <laughs> I think I played this one. Okay, with more time, it definitely likes that move, but maybe not changing its mind. Um, but yeah, this felt like a, a good point here. And at this point, it already drops to uh, Black's winning by about three or four points. And that's because he gave me this big target when he was ahead. So he goes here. I wasn't sure how to handle this one. I didn't really see anything here, but I guess I can capture this. So he has to defend somehow. And then it wants me to come over here. Interest or this one? Guessing this one so I get the Satari? No? A little confusing. But I guess this helps fix the shape here that I had uh, with this attach. Because now, uh, instead of playing the Sacrifice of that one stone, I could have just played here. And he can't Atari here because it's a self Atari. That's interesting. Okay, um, but instead I pushed here. And it seems like it likes my move after some thought. And yeah, this move definitely didn't feel good because now I get to push here. Um, but again here, it's saying Black's winning by about 5 points, so even this is still not enough. Um, he pushes, and it wants me to just Hane here, um, but I was kind of scared of this dying, so I just defended, and was thinking he would just take this, because um, he is pretty far ahead, well, at this stage anyway, because 5 points is not that easy to overcome in endgame. And there's really not that much big endgame. Um, like, he can reduce this pretty easily. Uh, this is pretty big for both. Uh, this is pretty big for both. And this one. But he can always play here in Sente. Because uh, he can get rid of my eye. Um, he can also turn here in Sente. Where I have to block, and then he can Hane. So endgame definitely feels like it'd be better for black. Uh, but he blocks here. I play here, and then this is probably the losing move. Yeah, it's a 90 point uh, mistake, because now I just uh, cut here. Um, but if he just defends, it looks like it wants this move, because this is defending the weakness over here with this attach and push, and then defend this way. And it's saying about 5 points, and so I get to read. Uh, deuce this area, but it's not that big because yeah, he just goes here. I'm assuming here, um, and yeah, he's still ahead by about five points. And then I would have to reduce with this move, which I'm not even really sure how this would uh, work. Okay, so <laughs> it almost looks like a suicide mission where it's just I have to live here, kill something, and then I win. Um, so for sure, if he just uh, played solid here, then I was uh, losing. Uh, but instead, I guess he misread here. And he... Uh... Oops, what do he do? Okay, yeah, he blocked here, here. And let me cut. And after that, it just uh, feels like game over. Um, but again, it's only saying about 9 points. So it seems like if he kept playing here... Um, there's some weaknesses, um, but he probably would live. So I think I'd be ahead by more than nine if this dies. But it seems like maybe playing this one was bad, and this push, oh, it recommended that. And I'm guessing I just ladder, and then he can Atari. Hmm. Hmm. Looks difficult, because then I just go here, right? And that's looking kind of dead. Hmm. Not sure. Maybe it's smaller than I think. But, oh well. I'll, uh, it was an interesting game.
but I'll end the uh, the review here and uh, thanks everyone for watching and I'll I'll see you next time.